Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, nutrition, well-being, amazing events, and great people. Today I'm joined by the lovely Caitlin Jackson, an amazing, amazing young lady. Welcome, Caitlin. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being Thank here. Thank you so much for having me. So um, I'm, I'm excited that you're going on to study neuroscience in St. Michael's. Yeah. Uh, I wanted you to be on the show to share with my viewers in terms of what you do and what you've done, because it's all about making an impact and doing the best we can, as young as we can. So yeah. please tell me about so I started a group um, called Advocators and Navigators within my high school, uh -huh. and I started this group um, really to support students in my immediate community right. that were battling chronic health issues right. daily and having a difficult time navigating the high school process and navigating the um, college process sure. as they, you know, they transition from high school to college. Sure. It could be very difficult and very scary. Right. Um, and I really wanted to unite a lot of students in our school who have invisible illnesses because not all of these chronic health issues are visible. Right. And I right. wanted to just create a space for um, students to go to be able to, um, you know, connect with other people who are battling the same issues, who are battling fatigue, who are battling, um, you know, problems with focus, low energy levels um, daily, and just to be able to support each other and, um, you and know. You, and you know about that. You yes. want to share with my viewers why you know about that? Um, I face chronic health issues myself. Mm -hmm. I have autonomic dysfunction mm -hmm. and through your genetic testing um, and some other genetic testing, I found that I have um, a, a gene mutation called the MTHFR gene mutation. Right. And that means I have some dietary restrictions. Right. Um, so diet has, even though I have problems with my nervous system, diet has helped me um, increase my energy levels and increase my cognition. Um, on a daily basis, um, right. right? So no, I mean, and, uh, and I'm always so helpful. Oh, I'm so glad I could, <laughs> and I'm so excited that you have that the genetic testing I do that, but that we found a blueprint for you to live with beyond just a lot of medications. That you're on your way to college, and you have energy, yeah, and you have focus, and you feel great mm -hmm. most of the time, as long as you stick to foods and hopefully me working, you know, yeah. alongside with the people at the kitchen at the college, um, we can keep you on track in terms of foods that, that really help. Yeah. But it's all about making a difference and you're making wonderful, wonderful differences. So you helped kids that have chronic illnesses have a, a, a form in order to share and, and help them. Yeah, they get to share their stories and, and we get to see um, how different, you know, strategies have helped each other too. So, sure. you know, I get to share my story about how, yes, I had all these issues with my nervous system, but do you know what? 85% of those issues were solved with, through diet. Yeah. And that's so important. And I get to share that story. And then another person right. says, you know what? I get, I should try doing that too, or I should right. try something similar. It's not going to be this, exactly the same, right. but maybe that's the path I need to go down right. Um, right. to help my energy levels and my ability to focus. Sure. And, um, sure. you know, it's all, it's just all about supporting each other and also, um, you know, fighting stigma too. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. was in sure. helping students navigate right. like, high school and navigating their health issues. It's easier right. to do it when you have, you know, that's that idea of being able to look left and look right. There's something, somebody else going through the same sure. thing that you're going through and being able sure. to relate and um, feeling confident in the decisions you're making to take charge of your health right. because other people are trying to take charge of their health too. They are. And they then are. also um, the advocacy part was... Um, was really about and trying to fight stigma. So what we did was we shared with the school um, how many celebrities have chronic health issues or invisible illnesses and um, how you can also prevent a lot of these health issues sure. through diet and through um, just sure. avoiding exposure to things like pesticides and chemicals. You bet. Um, you bet. You know, in your daily life. And that so was vital. so important. So yeah. important. I work with a couple of celebrities that have problems with fatigue and, and such. But um, in terms of talking, I'm all about as a nutritionist RD, as far as eating natural, avoiding processed 
uh, foods, refined grains, refined sugars, um, any kind of a junk food, and really try to eat food that, that makes us feel feel great and selecting great foods to give great energy and wonderful activity. Just We have one yeah. body. We don't get another, so we have to make the best yeah. of it. And we were sharing personally about with all of this going on with the, the Roundup and the glyphosates, and you shared yes. a very interesting story to me. I'd, I'd love for you to share with the viewers. Yeah, um, I know somebody who does, um, my aunt, she does testing for the state. And so... Um, in soil, she does soil testing and she was telling me how they might even move out because the like levels of phosphates and all these uh, pesticides that are in the soils are so dangerous. Right. And she, right. you know, you tell these companies that like the l amount of pesticides that are in these soils isn't safe. And instead of right. adhering to what the like uh, safety regulations are, right. they go and lobby for um, higher residual levels to be allowed. So, Very you know, yeah, so it's not really like just because, you know, we approve of, of the level of chemicals in our soil being right. okay doesn't mean that it really is okay. Right. And so you really have to take charge of your health and do your own research right. and decide for yourself what, um, what is safe and what is not. And, and right. yeah. And, and be the best you can for, uh, yeah. for families as well as their children as well. Yeah. And I'm always saying to uh, my patients as well as people that I lecture to that it's not just one specific item with this glyphosate. It's from you start in the morning and you, and you have a microwave frozen breakfast. And then, then maybe you follow it up with something that's uh, a croissant or something that's, you know, frozen out of a bag. And then you go on to have something, you know, some uh, candies from uh, some store, some packaging. It's a combination of everything coming together one after the other that can cause a problem. Right. And that's so important to touch on, too, because, right. you know, people don't even realize how much you know, how many chemicals are really consuming bad yeah, chemicals. Very much so. <laughs> very much so. Um, because yeah. they, you just don't realize how it, uh, you know, it adds up throughout exactly. the day and over time. And that's the dangerous part. Like having exactly. a, having, you know, so, like some junk food every now and then maybe won't do the worst Absolutely. for you. But, I believe that. you know, if it's every day, all the time. Right, right it's going to hurt you. And that's it so does. hard as a, a teenager because you want sugar and you want you want junk food and right. you pizza all the time. And right. that was another reason I wanted to start this group because a lot of us can't do that. <laughs> and it's so hard when sure. everybody else around you is. And we want to sure encourage, um, especially starting young, right. encourage like high schoolers, teenagers sure. to start getting into these good habits now right. because it will pay off later. It's a really good investment to start as soon as you can. Um, you are so wise for so young. <laughs> so what do you think is the most important thing for um, young teens or, or young adults that they're on, they have to watch their diets because of chronic illnesses and that. And they're out with friends. Yeah. What would you recommend? What would your advice be in terms of to, to do that? You know, it, it can be really hard to I do, especially imagine. depending on, you know, what your social group is like. But I always say plan ahead. If you can't meal plan, at least, you know, don't get in the car with your friends who are saying, we're going out for lunch and not know where you're going. At least right. know where you're going ahead of time. So maybe you could look up the menu and say, oh, can I eat? Can I really eat something here? If not, you know, go somewhere else bef beforehand because sometimes you get roped into like going out to lunch and it's, you go right. there and, you know, you're like, I can't eat anything here or you don't sure. want to. Um, sure. And also another thing that I, that I think is really helpful for me is I order a lot of my foods online, uh -huh. a, like a lot of snack bags I can grab and I always have some in the house. So right. if, you know, if I'm, I'm with my friends, I always can grab something to eat by myself, even if we have like a bunch of chips and everything and junk food at, just out on the table, like I always have yeah, these okay. snack bags with me, that's you know. That's good to know. So, Very good to know. <laughs> I mean, maybe, yeah, it, it almost seems obvious, but it really isn't. You, It really isn't. You'd be surprised, but yeah, I mean. And that's wonderful advice for young people, pre-planning ahead and having accessible snacks that you can get to and, and also being able to know ahead of time in terms of what's going to happen. So because in the event you're, you're so wise for so young, you know that if you eat the wrong foods, you're not going to feel well. It's no. just not worth it.
to yeah. do it. So you're on your way to St. Michael's to study neuroscience, and, and what what do you want to do with that? I mean, I would love... you've done so many things at such a young <laughs> age, Caitlin. Um, I would really love to um, study, well, to research. I'm really interested in, in the mind-body connection, um, sure. and i pretty confident I'm going down like the molecular track. Sure. Um, but, you know, if it's not med school, I really, I really would love to do research. I could learn the rest of my life. So you could. that's what I would love to you do. Could. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe, you'll, maybe you'll combine neuroscience and nutrition. Yeah. I mean, as an advocate for, for young yeah. people with chronic illness. Yes. And, and disease. you know, people don't even realize it's like two hours after you have a concussion, your, your like gut floor starts to change. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's so interesting. Our, our, our gut is so connected to our, our brain and our mind, um, which is, again, why, regardless of what chronic health issue you have or if you don't have a chronic health issue, taking charge of your health now is so important. Right. Um, because right. we don't sure. realize how connected things are. Right. Um, I mean, right. of course, we are a whole system, but, sure. you know, sure. it's, Absolutely. A, it's incredible. It is. Um, and to Very just important. be able to continue that research would be amazing. And I, and I have to thank you that you've been part of my crew here in terms of learning, and you just keep doing that as far as uh, being part of things and being part of groups. And it's just amazing all that you've done. And I wish you the very, very best thank at you your so college. Much. You're meant to do great things. Thank you really you. are. Thank Caitlin, you. thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me oh, and my for being pleasure. such a great mentor Aww, for me too. My pleasure. So. Remember when we eat well and feel great, Select great foods to get physically active. Uh, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. As lovely young lady Caitlin Jackson says, that we must be aware as far as really selecting whole, natural, great foods. And when we do so, we feel better and try to do it as much as we can. Thank you so much to my wonderful crew. Have a nice evening. Good night.